Anime Expo has just kicked off and we already have a bunch of really exciting news coming out of it, especially around Trigger's panel. We got some great stuff for me personally with J-Novel and so much more. So yes, let's jump into it. Let's kick off one thing that was sort of not AX related, but it was kind of announced at the same time. But Crunchyroll has announced that they are going to be streaming ZOM 100, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So that will be on July 9th starting there. Why this is great is because obviously ZOM 100 originally was announced for like Netflix and Hulu. And I know a lot of people out there that watch anime don't want to subscribe to another platform to watch their shows. So having ZOM 100 available on Crunchyroll is definitely a great move. That way, at least some of us can kind of cut down how many subs they're having out there. But really exciting stuff. It's easily one of my most anticipated shows for the summer season. So July 9th, again, Crunchyroll great pick. Moving on to Netflix news, they announced that Delicious and Dungeon will premiere worldwide in January, and they already released a new trailer for it. It looks really fantastic. I think the comedy in it's going to be pretty funny, even though I'm not a big, huge foodie show fan. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun. They have a nice little, uh, I guess, a straight man character there that always freaks out about everything. But yes, of course, that's being done by Studio Trigger, so definitely exciting stuff. Netflix also released a new trailer for Pluto, so if you're interested in that series, definitely go check that out. Of course, that one is coming out on October 26th, so that's definitely one that every time I look at it, it looks really, really cool visually and everything. There's a little bit of a oof with the CGI, but I think they're doing a really good job of blending it, and obviously, based on the story itself, it looks really great, so definitely looking forward to that one. They also announced a stop-motion Pokemon franchise, which, I don't know, I, I think I'd completely missed this one, or maybe this is a new <laughs> announcement, but it's called Pokemon Concierge, I think is how you pronounce that, which is coming to Netflix on December of 2023. So, if you're a big fan of Pokemon, be on the lookout for that one. Now, here's some interesting news. Bandai Namco Entertainment's their panel. <laughs> they announced a new project for Gundam, which is Mobile Suit Gundam Requiem for Vengeance. And the interesting thing about this particular project is that it's being completely done in Epic Games' Unreal Engine 5. Yes. <laughs> so we are going back to, what was that called? Yes, the days of MS Igloo. <laughs> We're going to do this thing again. We'll see. Um, we'll, we'll see. They haven't released a trailer to everybody else yet, but they did show a trailer there. I don't know if everybody was enjoying it, but... Um, Gavin Hignite, who, I'm going to butcher these names, I apologize. Gavin Hignite, who is writing the series, confirmed the project is set in the Universal Century. So, it'll be in this particular time frame. So, we're, we're two of two. He also stated that Thunderbolt and 08th MS team were actually influences for the project, which that is a plus for me. I think Thunderbolt was, was a lot of fun. 08th MS team is easily one of my favorite of the Gundam franchise. I just love that kind of guerrilla warfare kind of setting for Gundam. But, uh, yeah, it's apparently supposed to be following the Xeon faction from their perspective. So, there you go. If you're, if you're a Gundam fan, be excited for that. I need to see the trailer. I really, I really need to see the trailer before I think of anything about this. But, we'll see. Now, moving on to the Trigger panel, which I think most people were excited for. Getting ready for that new announcement they had. I, I guess the new announcement is an old announcement. I don't know. Um, I'm missing something, apparently, because I watched, I looked at everything coming out of there, and nothing said new announcements. But maybe they're probably talking about Pantheon Stocking. New Pantheon Stocking, which they've announced that is going to be the new project they're doing. Now, the interesting thing that did come out of this panel, which apparently has been leaked slash, I don't know, confirmed or something at some point, uh, is that, yes, they, they, they came out on the stage, and their big thing was, we got it. We got Panty and Stocking. They have officially acquired the license, the ownership of it from Gynax. So, it's there now. Trigger now owns Panty and Stocking. They no longer have to pay any sort of royalties to Gynax. It's all theirs. And so, obviously, they're probably going to be really excited at this point that they're going to make a new project. It's all theirs. They don't have to worry about answering questions to Gynax. It's th they do whatever they want with it. So, that's obviously really exciting. For those who don't know, Trigger's pretty much ex-Gynax people. And so they made it there. They love the franchise. They they got it back, essentially. So good on them. I've never watched... I never, I've watched bits of uh, Panty and Stocking. I just never fully watched it. So I think it's about time that I finally do that. We'll see. Additionally, they announced that they're going to be doing re-screenings of Gurren Lagann movie. This is Childhood's End and Lights in the Sky are Stars. So those two films are going to be coming back out again. In North America, specifically, it's going to be coming out in winter, and they're going to be in 4D theaters. Additionally, they also said they have plans on releasing it in 4K Ultra Blu-ray on September 27th. So, be on the lookout for that. Definitely exciting news. Good on Trigger again. 
excited for them. And finally, some exciting news for me. Uh, Jay Novel, during their panel, have announced some new acquisitions, including uh, for light novels, Knights and Magic, which I thought that already came out, but I enjoyed the anime series of that, so that's a pretty good buy. Eighth Loop for the win. Back to the Battlefield, the Veterans Heroes Return to the Fray. The Retired Demon of the Maxed Out Village. My Magical Career at Court. Fiance No More, The Forsaken Lady, The Prince, and Their Make-Believe Love. And the last one is I Want to Escape from Princess's Lessons. Now for manga, a really exciting one in here for me, and I, <laughs> it's like one of those ones where I go, wait, this wasn't already printed? <laughs> this wasn't already publishing? Yes, the art club has a problem manga. That's a good pickup right there. Uh, that was extremely popular back when that one first aired as anime. And again, I was really surprised to see that nobody had picked it up yet. They also got the Frontier lore begins with zero subjects. My Daughter Left the Nest and Returned as an S-Rank Adventure, which that one is getting an anime adaptation here soon, so that makes sense. Hell Mode, the hardcore gamer do dominates in another world with garbage balance. The Conqueror from the Dying Kingdom. I'll Never Set Foot in That House Again. And an Archdemon's Friend's Dilemma. How to Love a Crybaby Knight. So, again, really exciting about Knights and Magic and the Art Clubs has a problem. Really cool stuff there. Now, the thing that is exciting for me, okay, let's actually get to the one that <laughs> this is exciting for me. Yes, they have announced a new audiobook series, A Sentence of a Bookworm. So exciting. I, I When I read that, I'm like, no way. <laughs> this is so, so good. Um, for those who don't know, I do a chapter by chapter analysis of Mushoku Tensei, and so I'm doing Mushoku Mondays. And yes, I've already told people several times that once I finish that series, I'll be getting into A Sentence of Bookworm. And so it'll be good to actually do an audio version of it. It'll be a lot easier for to consume. And uh, I think it's good to overall just get a broader acceptance of the franchise. More people, more ears, all that kind of stuff. And honestly, most of my excitement is based on the fact that I really, really enjoy the anime. And that's why I bought the novel series and want to check that out as well. So really cool pickup. They haven't announced like a VA or anything for it yet. Hopefully they pick somebody really good to, you know, bring it to life. A really solid voice actor, so we'll have to wait and see. But still, super exciting for me, and I cannot wait. But anyhow, that's all of the news out of AX for now. If anything else pops up, I will definitely make a video on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Comment. Let me know what's the most exciting news in this news bit. If it's not panty and stocking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you can be excited about that. Additionally, if you're new to this channel and you want to get all my content, I am going to keep up on this stuff. And additionally, I do news reviews, first impressions, top list. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. You can hit that subscription button. If you like this content and you want to support the channel more, I have a Patreon link, tips link, super thanks, and membership button down below. I greatly appreciate it, but it does, and y'all take care.